Hey, thanks for making it to Veterans Info Tap. I'm glad you made it today. Hey, I got some interesting information uh, on a bill that's uh, introduced in the Senate, and I wanted to share that with you. Uh, please hit the thumbs up for me, subscribe, share with a friend, all that good stuff. I really appreciate it. It helps to you know get the information out there. So the title of this bill, and I'm just going to kind of read through it here, is... And this is why I'm reading. This is why I'm sharing it because just the title itself uh, got me curious. And and I remembered hearing about this a while ago, and then it just kind of went away, and I didn't hear about it again. So, this is uh, Senate Bill 774 for the 118th Congress, 2324. Right, so 2023 through 2024. <clears throat> it was introduced in the Senate on 3/9/2023. And the, the title here is Veterans Border Patrol Training Act. Veterans Border Patrol Training Act. This bill requires the Department of Homeland Security, DHS, to collaborate with the Department of Defense, the DOD, and the Department of Veterans Affairs to establish an interdepartmental pilot program for five years. Under this program, DHS must use the DOD Skill Bridge program to train and hire transitioning service members as Border Patrol agents for the U.S. Customs and Border Protection. So I went over to the bill and pulled it up here. And I'm um, just going to, it's not too long. I'm going to read through it here. So uh, at least the snapshot that I have, right? So again, it's S.774, which is Senate bill. So it's the Senate dot seven seven four and it says here <clears throat> to direct the secretary of homeland security to establish a pilot program to hire transitioning service members to be border patrol agents in the senate of the united states march 9th 2023 mr tester for himself and mr lankford introduced the following bill which was read twice and referred to the Committee on Veterans Affairs. And this would be the Senate Committee on Veterans Affairs. A bill to direct the Secretary of Homeland Security to establish a pilot program to hire transitioning service members to be Border, border Patrol agents. Be it enacted by the Senate and House of Representatives of the United States of America in Congress assembled. Short title, this act may be cited as the Veterans Border Patrol Training Act. Border Patrol Skill Bridge Pilot Program. Establishment, not later than 180 days after the date of enactment of this act, the Secretary of Homeland Security, in collaboration with the Secretary of Defense and the Secretary of the VA, shall establish an interdepartmental pilot program through which the Department of Homeland Security shall use the Department of Defense Skill Bridge Program to train and hire transitioning service members as Border Patrol agents for the U.S. Customs and Border Protection. Employment Skills Training. In carrying out the pilot program established pursuant to subsection A, the Secretary of Homeland Security in collaboration with the Secretary of Defense shall use authorities available under section 1143 of Title 10, United States Code, to train and facilitate the transition of members of the armed forces to service as Border Patrol agents. Annual reports, not later than one year after the pilot program is established pursuant to Section 2A, the annual <clears throat> and annually thereafter until the date referred to in Section 4, the Secretary of Homeland Security in consultation with the Secretary of Defense and the Secretary of the VA shall submit a report to the Committee on Homeland Security and Governmental Affairs of the Senate. The Committee on Armed Services of the Senate and Committee of on Veterans Affairs of the Senate, the Committee on Homeland Security of the House of Representatives, the Committee on Armed Services of the House Representatives, and the Committee on Veterans uh, affairs of the House of Representatives that include, so they're reporting this to a bunch of different committees, that include the reporting period, that re, that includes for the reporting period a whole bunch of different things. The number of uh, participants in the pilot program, the number of eligible participants who applied to be a part of the program, and the number of pilot program participants who are members of the armed force, armed forces, 
reserve members of the armed forces, commissioned officers and non-commissioned officers, enlisted members of the armed forces, veterans, spouses of such members of the armed forces or veterans, and dependents of such members of the armed forces or veteran. Uh, and then it says, sunset date, the pilot program established pursuant to Section 2 shall be terminated on the date that is five years after the date on which such program is established. So with that, I personally think this is a great idea. Uh, for many service members, the transition to another uniformed service uh, makes sense and it's an easy, an easy fit. So utilizing SkillBridge uh, for those that are still in uh, makes sense and um, the the part in here where it talked about veterans and so forth um, spouses dependents that type of stuff makes me wonder if there's also an opening for uh, veterans to be able to um, be part of this in in a way um, that that uh, i don't know you know what kind of time frames they'd be looking at maybe you know if you've been out for up to three years, then you can enter this this pilot program or something like that. Uh, but in any case, this is one of those things again to where you know nobody knows us, right? Seriously, nobody knows us better than us. So I'm not going to tell anybody what they have to do. But if this is something that makes sense to you because you're a veteran, a spouse, uh, a dependent. Uh, again, nobody knows us and our dynamics more than us. So if this is something that makes sense, then get with your senator, right? Reach out, let them know that you support this and that, that you're paying attention, you know? And again, I've said this before in other videos, it is literally a, a three minute phone call, right? It's who who's your senator, your state senator, not, well, not for the state, right? Your actual federal U.S. senator, since states have state senate and typically assembly, right? So assembly and senate, and then you have your um, house of representatives and your senate for the for the U.S. you know federal side. So reach out, make sure you're right. Call on the right senator. Call your senator and let them know you're not going to talk to the senator. You're going to talk to a staffer who answers the phone and you know tallies things up. You're probably not going to get a phone call back, but it's one more. Hey, you know. Give me a rundown on what happened today in the office, you know, or the last week or whatever. We had 15 people call about this this uh, Senate bill on the uh, Border Patrol stuff uh, with some with some strong support. Cool, that's great. So it's when we say nothing that nothing gets done. And and in order for this to be a functioning, and I use that loosely, a functioning government, right? That's for the people by the people. The people need to be involved and say, yes, this is a great idea. You need to move forward with that. Or no, that's a stupid idea. Don't move forward with that. Whichever way you feel, say it, right? But but without saying it, we can't be pissed off when something doesn't happen or does happen if we didn't want it to happen. So either way, right? So you can't bitch if you didn't do any action is the bottom line. So uh, with that, I'll go ahead and end it there. Just an interesting little uh, bill that um, I thought I'd uh, bring you up to speed with. And for those that are transitioning, this this could be something uh, that could uh, uh, be there for you as well. So with that, we'll go ahead and end it. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you. And remember, if we don't take care of each other, something went wrong.